both of them to come up with a comprehensive update and statement on the floor of Parliament. Madam Speaker, in line with that, I'm just seeking for your indulgence to be emphatic that since we don't have much time, tomorrow, like uh, the presiding officer had stated last time, we dedicate some good time to discuss the GROW program, the GROW project. I thank you. Honourable Members, I you also had something. Then, uh, Judith, let's be brief. We have, uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, there is a challenge that I, I find in this country of ours. I don't know what the national ID is for. In other countries, all you need is your national identification or passport. Here, it's like we have reduced the national ID to, you know, an election season, electoral season. I mean, what would you want even to know what business I have, the trading license, if all I have is a national ID. How are we gonna help our fellow citizens? All they have is, is the national ID. So where else can they go? And in any case, grow, who is gonna pay the grow loan? It's the, the, the taxpayer that includes the person that all that she or he hers, especially the women, is a national ID. And Madam Speaker, I want to relate that with uh, the, this is examination season. And I can tell you, Madam Speaker, our fellow citizens, especially sons and daughters, are back in their homes because they can't afford paying tuition to zero balance. What kind of country are we trying to live or, you know, we need to put in place a country that is big enough to accommodate everybody. Otherwise, we're going to have a country where it's only the children, sons and daughters of the rich that will go to school. In conclusion, you're, Madam Speaker. You're saying that students have been sent away and they're not doing exams? They're not doing exams because they haven't no. paid to zero balance, Madam Speaker. Uh, members. Members, no child should be sent away from school. All the children should be allowed to do exams and they will pay their money when they are picking the transcripts. You cannot chase away the students when they are doing exams. You're the this is wrong. You are the best in the world, Madam Speaker, and I hope School leaders out there have listened to the speaker. This house has the constitutional mandate that if we resolve or pronounce ourselves on something through the leadership of this house, there's nobody under the sun that has capacity to reverse that decision. And I hope, Madam Speaker, that our fellow citizens, especially school leaders, can't take that, Madam Speaker. In conclusion, as I said, to reinforce that very point, we always talk about America. America accommodates everybody. If you're poor, you take your, your, your son and daughter to a poor school. And if you can't even afford uniform, there are schools in America, they will not ask anybody about a uniform if your, your father or your mother cannot. In the schools in America, as I take my seat. We've understood what we are saying, whether private schools or government schools, all the candidates must be allowed to do exams. And whoever goes against that should face the law. You cannot afford looking at paying school fees for your kid from P1 when he reaches S4 and is not able to be able to pay school fees, I mean to sit exams. I mean, some people may not have money at that time, but they will have money at a certain time and they will be able to pay. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker, for their judgment and Thank final you. verdict. Thank uh, Joyce, Judith. 
Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, on the same GROW uh, program, GROW project is a response to so many multiple uh, enduring uh, factors to the women entrepreneurs. But uh, not to repeat what my colleague had already said, Madam Speaker, the GROW project is not favoring the rural women who are sitting in the markets in the villages. Because when they go to the bank, and they request for five million. I have my women who travel from Noya to Pakwach in a place called uh, that big market to do trading there. And when they request for five million, they are sent back to again go and reduce the loan amount. And Madam Speaker, when they say they want requirements, the collaterals for the bank, I know the national ID is for identification whether you are a Ugandan or a resident of that particular place. But also when they ask for the the cash flows, they want to see how you are operating. But if the GROW project, the HEMS, were to respond, or is to respond to multiple hindering factors, then we are not responding to hindering factors by asking the rural woman to go back and reduce the loan amount. Someone has requested for one million, you send the rural woman to go back and ask for 500,000. Thank you. Thank you. One of our members, let's agree this way. Let's agree this way. Let's get a report on Thursday on this floor. Let's get a report on who are the beneficiaries of GROW, what is the minimum and maximum, what are the requirements, what are the regulations saying, and where have you covered so far, how much money were you given for GROW, how much have you spent. And uh, sources of funding, and who are the focal persons on the ground that we can be able to follow with this grow? And 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 lastly, as leaders of of the people, how do we get information on the grow? Uh, Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I'm happy to listen to the feedback from members and colleagues in Parliament about GLOW, which was launched about two years ago. And the Right Honorable Speaker, like you have rightly put it, it's a concern in the general public. And the Parliament Cabinet, uh, two weeks ago, requested us to bring a progressive report. Today, today, Cabinet is discussing that progressive report. But what we have raised here is going to enrich the progressive report because some of the things that you have raised were not part of the report as far as I had read it before. So, right, Honorable Speaker, we shall abide by the decision, by your guidance on Thursday to bring a comprehensive report about the issues raised. Thank you. Next.